Hey guys, Jefferson here. So, I'm sure we've all been in that situation where we accidentally overexpose a scene. Something like this. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to show you how to correct these overexposures and enable a lot of dynamic range with your regular footage and kind of give you a little bit more flexibility during post-production. Before we get started, I want to show you what version I'm running of Final Cut Pro. So as of this moment, I know it's only possible using Final Cut Pro 10. I have no idea if this is possible using Adobe Premiere. Anyways, the version is 10.4.10. .10. So as long as you're in this version or earlier, then you'll be fine. So to correct this footage, you have to enable two things. One, select your library. And in the inspector tool, we're currently in standard. You need to be on the wide gamma HDR mode for this to properly work. The second is enabling a LUT on your footage. So by enabling both of those features, this will unlock your clip and give you full dynamic range and working with more rather than just the basic settings. So right now I'm going to show you how it looks like using the basic setting because that's exactly what you would normally see. So we have this first look right here on a job that we recently filmed and unfortunately it was slightly higher than normal of what we want our exposure to be. We do have a LUT enabled. Let me turn off the LUT and this is how it looks like straight out of the camera. Let's look at the waveforms. So this is a waveform right here and it doesn't really have a lot of clipping on the high end right there. So except this portion right here, but that's where the veil is. Nothing too bad, but I don't really like how it looks. It looks a little too blown out in my eyes. So what we would want to do is select the footage. This is what you would normally do. You would go to your color board and we'll use color wheels for this example and then drop down the highlights. That's what we would normally do. The downside to this is when you drop down the highlights, it darkens your overall footage. And even though that's what it normally does, I want to just decrease the highlights while maintain the shadows and midtones. But by doing this, it pretty much darkens everything. And this is pretty true to whatever we do. So let's delete this color wheel and let's go to the other two clips before we switch over. So we have this clip right here and we do have a LUT enabled on this actual footage, but we'll leave that LUT alone. And then when we drop down the exposure, it darkens the whole clip and it's not really adjusting only highlights. Everything is pretty much affected. So we don't have much room to play around with when it comes to just messing up on camera. The best part about this method is that you're able to work with a lot Obviously, if you mess up, you mess up. You can't really work too much if you clip your highlights or crush your shadows on camera. But at least this will give you a little bit more flexibility when it comes to working with your footages that you have. So let's go back to our regular workflow. Select your library. So make sure you're not selecting your actual projects like these right here or your keywords. Select your actual library where it has this little icon right here. Go to your right where you have your inspector tools and select on modify where it has the very top. So modify, we're going to switch our workflow to wide gamma HDR and click change. And it will slightly modify your workflow and if you don't have any LUTs applied, it will either darken it or lighten it just a little bit. So this is the first clip that we actually looked at before. Because this is a compound clip, we cannot add a LUT straight from this clip. So I'll show you real quick. We don't have an option. You have to go inside the compound clip, select the footage that you're trying to modify, and this will give us the ability to apply a LUT. So I personally like using Canon Log 3, um, even though I film all this using my Sony, and then I can just show you real quick before we get into it. So reveal finder, this is the clip right here. 
let me copy that let's look for the XML file so th because this is the footage that we're looking for this is uh, cam 2 let's look for cam 2 that's cam 1 cam 2 right click and open with text editor so this was filmed using a sony a7 III, which is the model right here 7 mark 3 and the values that we've filmed this in is cine 4 and the color is s gamma 3 cine so this was not filmed using hlg however by modifying those two settings it looks like an hlg file so we could get out of here or we could stay in here i personally just want to back out and just edit from here let's go back into our color editing workflow and then let's enter our color wheels and now when you manipulate the highlights only highlights are affected and we have increased our dynamic range exponentially so we're dropping down highlights right here and look how much we were able to manipulate the f the image just looks amazing we can even crush down the shadows just a little bit and we could increase our midtones and wow that's that is just simply simply amazing on how much we were just able to unlock so let's work on the second uh footage so we have a uh, lut already enabled since this was the second clip i showed you we'll go right here and we'll just stay in this spot now when you manipulate the highlights we're only working with highlights notice that it's not really dropping much of the overall um, look of the video it's just dropping highlights so when you drop this down it's just dropping most of the highlights so right here on the top you could tell that it's a clipped file with that straight line and that's because of the pillars but overall this footage looks amazing we could crush the shadows just a wee bit more let's increase our midtones a little more and wow look how much better this overall clip looks and let's play this real quick all right so our third file this was purposely captured overexposed um and it was actually overexposed by three stops and Oh, it's, it's going to be very difficult to try to recover this a lot of the highlights right here is already gone but we're able to recover at least a good amount of it so select your footage we have a lot applied by the look of it but if you'd like to verify go to your settings camera LUT, and we have canon log 3 applied so we'll go to our color wheel and let's drop down the highlights and we're able to recover at least a good amount of it let's drop down the shadows as well perfect so let's increase the midtones just a wee bit and then bring up our highlights and you could already tell right here so we see a little bit of blue and then let's verify by going into our color board and let's bring up the saturation and you could tell so we brought a lot of the blue back in the sky this side right here of the highlights is just completely blown out and you could verify right here with that straight line however a lot of the footage has been brought back this video was just to show you the capabilities and what you're able to do during post and i hope you find it as helpful as i did when editing any mess up during post production if you have any questions or if you'd like to watch the full video of this highlight video, I click on the card up above. I'll be more than happy to send you there. Otherwise, thank you for watching and have a great day.